Cinema Classics is sponsored by the Gateway Film Center and is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Johnny DiLoretto. And this is Cinema Classics. Yeah, it is. And it's also... The end of 2020. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And Look, we're, we're ending it as we typically do. Sometimes we end it in the middle of the year. <laughs> right. <laughs> But anyway, I think we still have our listener, and why don't we look forward to, now, for movies that we think may get some cover, maybe have some interest in 2021. Yeah. Um, well, there's the big ones, obviously. Yeah. We, we know this, right? Well, yeah, but the, the people who aren't as nerdy as we are about okay, it don't so, know. Listen, I can't stop thinking about No Time to Die, <laughs> I and I, want, I, don't, I don't even care if any other movies come out. <laughs> I just want no time to die. Let's be done with that. Because I've been waiting for this movie since April. <laughs> They've been putting it off. And this is a Then it was November. And it was like, I remember in April, they said no time to die wasn't going to come out until November. And my heart was just like, I just it just sunk. And I thought, oh my God, I don't know if I can wait that long. All right, this is the new James Bond movie. Yeah. And it's the, the swan song of Daniel Craig. The send-off. Yeah, so that one. And uh, the other big one is um, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise returning to the cockpit. Incredible um, as uh, um, you know, Maverick. Obviously, looking a time. lot better than Val Kilmer, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think we are going to see Val Kilmer. I'm really curious to see how they work Val Kilmer in because know. you know the guy has uh, had a long battle with cancer recently, yeah. and um, you know he's not. I mean, he he's fine, I think now, but okay. uh, he no longer has his voice. I'm just curious how they're going to handle that that part of the Iceman storyline. Yeah. Well, I thought you might mention, or at least I'd like to feature, one that I am really interested in, West Side Story. The yeah, remake. you know, I, knew, I, was, I put that on my list because I knew you were going to talk about it. Yeah, that. yeah Steven, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. If you told me they were going to remake West Side Story, I probably would have been very annoyed. Right. When you say Spielberg is behind it, now I'm curious. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one, too. Um, other people might be looking forward to, I don't know if you're a big Hamilton fan, I'm not, I've never seen it, so I can't say that I am or not, but Lin-Manuel Miranda's uh, uh, In the Heights. Oh, okay, out. good, good. And I have yet to see Hamilton, so and am looking forward to it. Two big musicals in 2021. I know. Now, here's one that I think you would be interested in. Yeah. All right? Yes, sir. And it's called Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, Scorsese. <laughs> yes, movie. I knew you would know that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> That one does Leo's it. in it? And De Niro. Yes, and De Niro. So he brings his two muses together. Oh, wow. And it's set in the 20s. It's got to be mob stuff, right? Uh, it's actually, I think it's about um, Indian reservations. And oh, murders. Right. I think you're right. Uh, I think, yeah, FBI yeah, yeah. FBI investigation. Yeah. I'm not sure, but it, it, it definitely has some sort of crime and Native American element to it. So I, you're right. I am looking forward <laughs> to that one. Uh, what about, hey, Eddie Murphy comes back in Coming to yeah, America. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I don't know. Look, I'm just, after last year when he, he returned in uh, Dolomite Is My Name. Yeah. Uh, which was such a, a loving kind of, a very simple movie, but yep. a, also a very sort of loving throwback. Yep. Uh, Not as manic as his the usual black exploitation. Yeah, he was. He gave a really measured performance, but then he yeah. returned to Saturday Night Live uh, that year uh, for the Christmas uh, episode, <clears throat> and he was brilliant, and it was so much fun. And so I am looking forward to him returning and doing his like character shtick. I've never been a real big fan of Coming to America, except for those little characters that he yeah. does the little bits. So look, Eddie Murphy coming back to the big screen. It's fine by me. <laughs> Look at the fourth edition, I believe, of an iconic movie. Yeah. Matrix. 4. Oh, yeah. The Matrix 4. Is that uh, Lana yeah, this Wachowski? Is, yeah, this is going to be really interesting because it comes post the trans uh, revolution, basically. <laughs> okay. you know? um, she said, the, the Wachowskis have said that the first movies are a trans allegory anyway. But then they both... Uh, Transitioned Excellent. genders, and so now, have, you know, looking back, I don't know. Will that, will will taking the mystery out of it, um, sort of yeah. hobble it, or will it make it even more relevant? And that's a great question. I, I think you can't beat the first Matrix no, for it, its power, its impact. 
uh, it, it really changed in many ways the way movies are made. For sure. Absolutely. So I think I think you, <clears throat> I think you can't. But I do. I I respect what they do. Yeah. How um, about Dune? Yeah, you know this is one of your favorite directors, Denis Villeneuve. <laughs> Yeah, I love that guy. I wanted you to say that. <laughs> Denis Villeneuve. Uh, and they're saving, as we said in our promo, the most valuable asset of the galaxy. And i got to believe it's Scarlett Johansson, oh, but probably not. I thought you were going to say Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> yeah. Because because Scarlett is going to show up in The Black Widow. Yeah, for sure. She's got her own standalone for... Black Widow movie coming out. Um <laughs> How about Ghostbusters Afterlife returning to the screen, trying to reboot this yeah. uh, this franchise, this beloved franchise yeah. once again? They kind of missed, they stumbled with the you last think? one. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't that sure. all female or something? It wasn't. That wasn't the problem. No, it I mean, what it was, yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> um, well, here's one that I, I, I go I, ahead. I got one more for you. Then we'll all right, man. I've got another one. Venom. Oh. You care about I don't know. Them? No, I'm just. Well, I didn't know if you did or not. Andy Serkis directing it. Uh, but Tom Hardy. Hardy. Look, the first one Tom was a, Hardy. Tom Hardy surprised everybody with what looked like it was just a kind of B, C level, yeah, crappy superhero yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, but he he turned it into something really interesting. Yeah. And so uh, now we're getting the sequel. Okay. Um, so it could be good. Who knows? If they keep up the wackiness, I'm in. Uh, the one that I'm most looking forward yeah. to, though, I think from an artistic perspective, okay. is Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch. Oh, good. Good for you. I, I even had that on my list. Darn. You know, I don't, I'm not sure what it is. Kind of like a European set New Yorker magazine. Kind of, you know, his usual suspects from top to bottom. Uh, and it just looks, obviously, you know, any time that guy wakes up in the morning, and that's delightful. I think you're right. I, I'm not going to end with anything other than to say... Can't wait for the wrong turn with Matthew Modine playing <laughs> again. Wow. Remember, he was in that deep sea uh, one last year. He just shows up as the oh oh yes <laughs> his, his his career resurrected. Yeah, and okay. this one, people who lived in mountains for hundreds of years, they discover they discover and Matthew Modine. <laughs> that is an interesting premise. <laughs> All right, that's. 2021. In a nutshell. Let's hope it's better. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a completely different list by the time we get into the year. But it's kind of fun to speculate.